Haiti, land of mountains. It really should be the land of contrast. It hits you as soon as you get there. It's immense beauty, yet acute poverty. It may be alarming to some who arrive for the first time. How we miss the Haitian hospitality. We enjoyed the Haitian food, the Haitian sun. We had several radio and TV interviews promoting the January 12th celebration. We caught up with old friends and family members, many of whom we haven't seen in a long time, especially since the earthquake. And yes, we saw the needs. They were everywhere. From the dusty sun-cracked tents to the top tops that were used to carry the cholera patients. But we came to Haiti on a mission. One year after over 300,000 people died in a devastating quake. Some remembered the dead. Some mourned the dead. Some prayed the spirits and the saints for the souls of their loved ones. Meanwhile, 100,000 people were celebrating life. Those who had hope for eternity, those who had hope for heaven, they sang and they danced for hours, giving glory to God for their life. Yes, Haiti will rise again. Praise so genuine, worship so sincere from the heart of a nation that's been hurting for so long. Heaven heard their cry. What an honor it was to be part of such a beautiful day in Haiti. Thank you for helping us rekindle old relationships, establish new ones, 
and especially for helping us share the love that Jesus taught us to share.